What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the final episode of Light Lessons with Sierra. This is our 20th episode. I cannot believe 20 weeks, you guys. This is so cool. You guessed it. This final light lesson, gratitude practice. You'll notice on this light lesson, it doesn't just simply say be grateful. There is a practice involved. Anyone who knows me knows that part of my gratitude practice is that every day on my iPhone, I have a little notification that comes up that says, what are you grateful for? And if I'm looking at my phone at that time, I see it and I have to, I task myself with, I must stop wherever I am and say in my own mind, what am I grateful for in that moment? And it can be anything. It could be, I'm grateful that I'm wearing these crazy socks today. This year, as we have all experienced, no matter where we are on this planet, it has been really tough. It has been full up with so many things. I know in the times when I have felt really low and really down, the thing that helps me feel better is to ask myself, what am I grateful for? And there are times that I will be in tears saying, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for the roof over my head, I'm grateful for my cats, I'm great. And I list it until I really believe every word that is coming out of my mouth. When you feel stuck, get back to the gratitude. There is always something to be grateful for, always. And I think the antidote to darkness that we have witnessed this year is to have a gratitude practice. The gratitude practice doesn't have to be all alone. Ask the question, next time you're low, get on the phone, text someone, what are you grateful for? Ask them, what are you grateful for? Now, for some people, that's a hard ask. For example, Chip. What are you grateful for, Chip? So you mean things that, that yeah, just anything um, you're grateful for. No, 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 okay. Yeah. Oh, so I mean, there's like so many things. Um, there's a lot of things. So many things. Okay, um, gratitude. No, there's, uh, there's so many different things. Um, uh, things that I'm, I'm grateful for. I'll feel better, I'll feel I feel good because I'll have that in my mind. So, so, uh, so don't overthink it, Chip. Yeah, just, just three, just, two, just, one. Just, just go. Yeah. When I look outside, sometimes that triggers something. Um, I can't imagine what life would be like without sidewalks, and I, they they are a path that uh, that leads us. I'll take that. Sidewalks. But he got there. Oh, Chip. This final episode was designed for when you want a little hit of joy, when you want a little hit of gratitude. It's also designed for when you are in those moments of feeling helpless, when you are in those moments of feeling hopeless, feeling like you don't know where to turn and you don't know how to start. Won't you play this episode and let us help you figure out little stepping stones of gratitude? We got some stuff to get to and I'm so excited. I called in light workers from all over the world. I asked my friends for three things that you're grateful for. It's difficult because I'm asking you to narrow it down to three things, but they did it, you guys. They did it. I am so excited to share what everyone had to say. So enjoy this episode of Light Lessons with Sierra, Gratitude Practice Edition, featuring, just wait and see. Daddy, what you grateful for? I am grateful for my relationship with God. I am grateful for my friends and my family being healthy right now. And I'm also grateful for this margarita. <laughs> I am grateful to still be alive. I am grateful for Sierra Bug. And more than you could possibly imagine. And I am grateful for this margarita. <laughs> Cheers. 
am grateful for my parents, Netflix, and my best friend, Mabel. I am grateful for the air I breathe, the food in my fridge, and the roof over my head. I'm grateful for family, health, and the gift of dance. I am grateful for the kindness of strangers, my beautiful family, and ice cream. I am thankful for my amazing partner and best friend and wife. I am grateful for autumn approaching, and I am grateful for this peaceful respite I call home. I am grateful for my very handsome and wonderful husband, my adorable dog, and fun fall adventures. I am grateful for dogs, music, and laughter, and kisses. I am grateful for the ocean. I am grateful for dancing. And I am grateful for imagination and curiosity. And I am grateful for Sierra Bagas. I am grateful for my friends. I am grateful for a chance at life. And I am grateful for the life show also known as the light show i am grateful for time i am grateful for love and i am very very grateful for friendship i am grateful for my loving amazing supportive husband my beautiful family and most of all god's love and grace I'm grateful for so many things, but um, if I had to pick three, I would say, first and foremost, I am grateful for my health. Um, I'm grateful for my family, my husband, my little puppy dog, and I'm grateful to have a roof over my head and food on the table. I guess that's way more than three things, but I'm grateful for a lot. I am grateful for my family, our health, and waking up each morning. <laughs> sunshine, my family, and my eclectic neighbors who have great taste in music, and especially the one neighbor across the street who has a rooster that wakes me up every morning because it makes me laugh. Hey, this is Michelle, um, and this is Carter. Um, we are first grateful for family, um, for those who are related, related to us, and those of our friends who we choose to be our family, like our Merce sisters. Um, second, um, grateful for nature, for the resilience that we've learned from nature. Many, 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 many. <laughs> and thankful for laughter. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cicely Daniels. The three things I am most grateful for are for my family. Hi. Okay, my family, <laughs> my birth family, as well as my chosen family, because they are getting me through all of this. I am extremely grateful for the delivery people that bring us a lot of different kinds of food because mama does not always have time to cook. And I am the most grateful for the sound of my daughter's laughter. <laughs> because it's the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Hi, Sierra. I am grateful for all the love in my family. I'm grateful for the roof over my head. And I'm really grateful for all the amazing people I love and get to work with in this industry. So here's three things I'm grateful for today. Democracy, um, young people speaking truth to power, yoga, red wine, Three things. I have to ditch the other. Sorry. Three things that I am grateful for. Hormone replacement therapy. Having someone who loves me. And my dog. I could go on, but, you know, you only wanted three, so... Three is all you're going to get. Tara. Three things I'm grateful for. I'll show you. grateful for the beauty around me. I'm 
grateful for those birds. I'm grateful for this tree. And one last bonus grateful. I'm grateful for you, Sierra Boggis. I am very grateful for my family. And then I'm very grateful for my home, which is a, a beautiful place and I love being in. And then I'm very grateful for technology because we all know that that brings us closer together. But now it's very sort of relevant and, and good to have, uh, obviously, if used correctly. Um, but these three things I'm very grateful for. Ég er mjög þakklátur fyrir fjölskylduna mína. Ég er þakklátur fyrir heimili mitt sem að er alveg yndislegt og, og, og fallegt og gott að, að vera í. Og svo er ég mjög þakklátur fyrir tækni. Því að tæknin, hérna, gerir okkur það kleift að, að, að vera nær hvort að eru heldur en við raun erum. Og núna einhvern veginn þá er það mjög viðegandi og, og hérna, og, og, og gott og örugt að hafa þessa tækni ef við notum hana rétt. Þannig að við, ég er sérst þakklátu fyrir fjölskylduna, heimilið og tækni. I'm grateful for my family, I'm grateful for my friends, and I'm grateful for my fans. Kazokto, tomodachi to, so shite fan no minasan no sonzai ni kansha shite imasu. So I'm grateful for not being alone and feeling plenty of love all around me. I'm grateful for being able to keep dreaming of whatever happens and mostly I'm grateful for having the consciousness that life is a constant journey. Je suis reconnaissante de ne pas être seule et de sentir que je suis entourée par plein d'amour. Je suis reconnaissante d'avoir la capacité de continuer à rêver, quoi qu'il arrive. Et enfin, je suis extrêmement reconnaissante d'avoir la conscience que la vie est, est un chemin constant. من خیلی سپاس گذارم و احساس خوشبختی می کنم در کنار خانوادم، سلامتیم و کارم. I'm very grateful for my family, my health and my career. Hello. Hi everybody. My name is Jeronimo Rauch and I'm grateful for, for my family. I have a very, very beautiful family. My wife, my son and my parents, my brothers and sisters. I'm, I'm really, really happy and grateful for my family. I'm also grateful for spending my life on stage, even though we are not on stage now. But uh, my job is pretty exciting and I love it. And I'm also grateful for, for being part of, of this new movement, of new, this new conscious that is happening nowadays, that we are connecting um, again as human beings, as souls, connecting to the earth and being conscious of what we do. So nowadays I'm really, really grateful for being part of this. Hola a todos, soy Jerónimo Rauch y yo estoy muy agradecido por, por la familia, por, por mi mujer, por mi hijo, por mis padres, mis hermanos. Um, también estoy muy agradecido por el trabajo, um, por mi trabajo. Adoro estar arriba del escenario, a pesar de que hoy en día no estamos. Eh, pero es muy importante saber que nos volveremos a subir a los escenarios. Y también estoy muy agradecido por que hoy en día somos parte de un nuevo movimiento, de una nueva conciencia eh, humana, una nueva conciencia con, con, con la tierra. Y, y agradezco ser parte de este, de este nuevo movimiento y estoy deseando ver los resultados. Un beso muy grande, Sierra. Te quiero. I am grateful for those moments in the day when I'm out and about, when I have the courage to talk to a stranger. When I just have the courage to say, oh my gosh, that blouse is so beautiful. Or I thank a workman on the street for their wonderful job that they're doing. Or I see two ladies coming down the street with ice cream cones and I say, oh my gosh, that looks so yummy. Whenever I do that and I take stock at the end of the day of what were my favorite moments of the day, it's always that moment. I am grateful for my morning ritual. 
I love to get up just a little bit earlier than the rest of the world and I turn on a CD of birds, yes, birds chirping and singing. I light my candles. I get out some blank sheets of paper and I write my morning pages. If you know Julia Cameron's book, The Artist's Way, I just have this moment of silence just to be with me before I turn on my iPhone and start the rigors of the day. I am grateful for hugs. During this pandemic, haven't had very many hugs in the last six months and I will never take a hug for granted again. Sono grata quando vado via e ho il coraggio di parlare con uno sconosciuto. Per esempio posso dire, oh mi piacciono quelle scarpe, oppure, ah sembra che questi coni gelato siano deliziosi. E sempre c'è un momento fra noi e stessi e è un bel momento ogni giorno, ogni volta. Sono grata del mio rituale matutino. Quando mi sono alzata, faccio una meditazione e scrivo un po' e anche ascendo la musica, ma non la musica, invece i suoni degli uccelli. E c'è un momento solamente per me. Sono grata degli abbracci. Oh, mi mancano gli abbracci tanto durante questo momento difficile nel mondo. E quindi, ah, capisco bene, gli abbracci sono super spettacolari. E per questo vado in Italia spesso, perché gli abbracci lì sono, sono specialissimi. Sono grata. You ready for some more gratitude? Let's go. I'm grateful for health, for love. Nature. Hey, what's going on, Light Lesson folk? My name is Daniel J. Watts. I have three things to be thankful for. They are, I'm thankful for a roof over my head. I'm thankful for friends and family that are healthy and safe. And Sierra will fight me if I do not tell you how thankful and grateful I am to be a 2020 Tony Award nominee. I'm really grateful for that. Ah, you got me. I am grateful for nature because it continues to be a source of healing for me. I am grateful for my home because not only does it serve as a refuge for my family and I, but it continues to inspire me to create. And I am grateful for you for showing up for love, for being vulnerable, and for just being you. I am grateful for finally being able to appreciate the stillness that was forced upon a lot of us during this pandemic. I'm also grateful for Family Feud, the game show. It never occurred to me that when I left New York to be with my family in Texas for the pandemic, that sitting on the couch with my mother watching the Family Feud would end up being a highlight of my day. And I'm also grateful for Biscuits, and with all that extra time I had on my hands, I have learned how to make my favorite biscuits. So I now can make my favorite version of one of my favorite things. You talk about gratefulness. Every night, my husband and I talk about what we're grateful for that day. And a few themes come up. The first is that I'm grateful for my body and the capabilities I have, my ability to feel things and to enjoy life through this sentient experience. And secondly, I'm grateful for the people in my life. Now more than ever, I just really cherish my husband as my best friend and the other people who've gotten closer to me during this time of small friend groups. And then finally, I'm just grateful for all the little beings, our pets, the birds, the bees, that just make life very interesting and beautiful and uh, poetic. Three things, really. Impossible. I am so grateful for so many things. Unbelievably, I am grateful for work in a theater. What? Food. And sexual intercourse. Hi, Sierra. 
Uh, there is uh, so much to be grateful for. I am grateful, I have a long list, uh, but you said three things. I am grateful for community. I usually isolate uh, and become a bit of a, a recluse. <clears throat> That's just been my MO all my life. I'm an only child. But I didn't realize how much I, I need people, how much I missed people. So I'm grateful for community. Um, I'm so grateful for music. Like, wow. Literally pulls me out of one place and sends me to another. Um, so that is my medicine. And I'm grateful for second chances. Getting an opportunity to see another day on earth and getting to attempt to do something better than you did it yesterday or correct something that you did incorrectly. Um, so yeah, second chances. Love you. That's my wife. I am grateful for my wife. Because if life already weren't worthwhile enough, it's off the charts every day with her. Masks. Music. I'm grateful for music. The list of things I'm grateful for is very, very long, but somewhere at the top of that list is this guy. That's Willie. He's probably taught me more about unconditional love than anything that I've ever experienced in my life. How to and how to receive Willie. I'm grateful for Willie. I'm grateful for my breath, that cyclical energy that lets me connect to things seen and unseen that resets and restores me. I'm grateful for my family, both the family I was gifted with by the universe and my chosen family, good souls, whole souls, who allow me to have a tribe, a community, so that I can go out into the world with that feeling of belonging. I am grateful for nature, this magnificent, amazing show going on around me every day that reminds me that I'm part of something much larger, much more spectacular and beautiful in all of its chaos and glory than I could ever know. It is boundless and limitless, little miracles every day. I'm grateful for knowing my passion in life, waking up every day with joy for what I do. That is a gift that I think I should be able and should feel privileged to give to the world. And I'm grateful for peace of mind, the ability to get quiet, to get still in my mind, to have calm in my mind and to feel wholeness and to firmly set all of the beauty of my life, all of the chaos and madness and, and activity of my life on this firm foundation that allows me to have peace no matter what. I'm grateful, I too am grateful that Daniel J. Watts has a Tony nomination. I'm grateful that I just tested negative and that's something that's very positive. Right, and that my son also tested negative and that we're very healthy. I am grateful for change. I'm grateful to be able to make changes even though that's scary. I know that it's the future. I'm grateful for the future. So here is my first gratitude. I am grateful for everyone who has had the courage to put their art into the world in whatever way possible with all its beauty. And I'm grateful for first responders right now in our world and in our country. Firefighters, EMTs, ambulance drivers, ER docs and nurses, and for the selfless way that they serve all of us. I am grateful for relationships. They are the best antidepressants in this long struggle to be nurturers and healers for each other. And I'm adding to that, that I'm grateful for this relationship, 40 years this year, Ooh. <laughs> with this How'd handsome man. How'd that happen? <laughs> um. 
And I'm grateful for the resilience that seems to be built into the human spirit and the amazing way uh, people can come back in very tragic situations that happen in their lives. I am grateful for the beauty of our planet and its relentless drive to nurture and delight our souls. And we're grateful for you, Sierra. I'm very grateful for you and just the way you keep showing up in the world and giving yourself away, giving away your light and your love and your music. And for the, your inspiration that you are to so many people, you are a bright light in this world and we love you. I am grateful to be a light worker. I'm grateful for strength. I'm grateful to find places within myself and others and nature that have wisdom. I'm grateful to listen. I'm grateful for responsibility. I'm grateful for vulnerability. I'm grateful to be fully present. I'm grateful that I am enough and you are enough. I'm grateful for support. I'm grateful to be perfectly imperfect. I'm grateful to surrender. I'm grateful to be brave. I'm grateful to trust and release. I'm grateful to be curious. I'm grateful for openness. I'm grateful to empower. I'm grateful for empathy. I'm grateful for integrity. I'm grateful for kindness. And I am grateful to have a gratitude practice, which includes my extraordinary friends, the ones who showed up to sit down for a conversation with me, to share with you their wisdom and their knowledge about their light lessons. I am grateful for all of my friends who showed up for us to talk about what they're grateful for. And I am grateful for you. I am grateful that you showed up each week, that you continue to be interested in sharing the light during a pandemic, during a crazy year of 2020. I am grateful to you for being so interested in the light that you show up without any guarantee of an outcome. It's our final episode, but it's just the beginning. Keep showing up, light workers. Keep showing up. Calling all dreamers and optimistic fools. Don't let go of your dream, make it now, make it all come true. If you believe in a brighter day, I know we can find our way to this island in the starry ocean, poetry in motion, this island earth. Spinning like a dancer, gravity is the answer, rendezvous in the blue, this island earth. Uh, gratitude practice. Oh. <laughs> Mike, I'm so Can happy. I see it, Daddy? That's so good, Mike. Wonderful. Oh, I need to do another one. <laughs>